drive me crazy. They drive me insane. I swear to God. Swarms of Chakistas were on the attack. Ah, the bugs are terrible. Even a bug net was no protection. No, I want it to stop. Crazy. Sleeping isn't going to happen. Mm -hmm. Things are killing us. Chakistas are biting midges that are attracted to human sweat. Using their serrated mouth parts, they tear into the skin, forming blood droplets that attract more Chakistas, creating a feeding frenzy. My body is ate up from head to toe. It's awful. Chakistas leave behind nasty bites that itch intensely. Poor Leah. She was in extreme pain. I was getting bit, too. I was hurting and suffering and in pain. But to watch her, it was hard. I've been having a headache. I feel dizzy. Two days and nights of constant insect attack, no sleep and no food, made Leah weak and nauseous. <laughs> days later, Caesar faced the ongoing torture alone. The Chakistas at night were miserable. We're talking extreme pain. You would feel every bite, really just pure torture. Look how big that one is. Blood-sucking flies. Your bait. Ah. Everything wants to bite and poke me. I discovered cordage. See if this works. And I made a fish hook from a cactus. I think I got myself a fishing line and hook. Flies are just all over me. That's right. Nothing's biting on the flies, but the flies are biting on me. The flies are truly the worst predator I've come across. But I got a double whammy and something way worse than these sand fleas. It is actually destroying me. And I've come to the revelation that I have to get up out of here. I can't stay here another night. I'm going to think I'm going to go back to my old camp. I hate spiders. I almost stepped on him. There he is. It's a banana spider. David and Kayla had to contend with a deadly threat right under their feet. And he is pissed. Yeah, I feel like he's really fast. <laughs> not that fast. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> I'm gonna go over here now. Colombia is crawling with the world's most venomous spider, the banana, or wandering spider. They're part of the genus Phanutria, which in Greek translates to murderous. They have a six inch leg span. If threatened, they will raise their front legs. It's a precursor to an attack. Their fangs inject a lethal neurotoxin causing paralysis, asphyxiation, and death. Oh, Every time I feel something crawl on me now, I'm like... Banana spiders? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Look at that nasty bastard. It's like a freaking eel. Everything wants to suck your blood and kill you. Leeches are segmented predatory parasites. They attach themselves to hosts using one of two skin-piercing suckers on either end of their worm-like body. They feed off the nutrients in blood. Leeches can consume five times their body weight. Like ticks, they fall off by themselves, 
once they're full of blood. In the leech-riddled swamps of Louisiana, Kai and Billy were eager for food. Now we have this awesome trap, but nothing to bait the crawfish. How about leeches? Ugh. They let the creatures feed on their feet, thinking that the blood-filled parasites would attract the crawfish. Come on. Get off. I think that we've got a good bait for that crawfish trap. Good job, team. Bo and Debbie were under constant attack in South America. which is how Bo contracted the flesh-eating disease, leishmaniasis. And rascals. They were just chewing me up. Three months since I came out of the Guyana jungle, and uh, I brought some stuff back with me, unfortunately. Uh, I have a case of cutaneous leishmaniasis. If you look closely at my ears, one is much larger than the other. It's been oozing and crusting over for uh, quite some time. It's pretty painful. Leishmaniasis can be spread by sand flies, and they can infect their victim with just one bite. It causes dangerous and painful skin ulcers, which resemble leprosy. The healing process can take several months. I've been on four courses of IV antibiotics. So uh, on the pain scale, it's about a six out of 10 right now. Nice. Yeah, guy in a bite's back. When they arrived at the Exuma's K's, Ben and Sarah's first challenge was to avoid getting attacked by the many sharks that prowled the ocean. Any one of these creatures can kill you. How's it going? Oh, I'm Ben. Hello. Sarah. They escaped the large predators, but couldn't get away from the savage sand flies that attacked them from all directions. Even huddled under their life raft, they couldn't escape the fierce infestation. You see them? Looks good. No, worse. Oh. Sand flies. I'm getting bit all over. You just die. Die horribly, all of you. I can hear them. They're in here. The constant assault from the sand flies drove Sarah to the edge. Oh, my god. They drove me. Crazy. They drive me insane. I swear to God. Suzanne's partner tapped out on day four, so she had no one to help her find food. She scoured the harsh Brazilian landscape, anxious for nourishment, and found another type of larvae one much harder to obtain than a rhino beetle, but also full of vital nutrition. I see protein. When I came across the wasp nest and I realized that there were larvae on the nest, I knew that was an excellent source of protein and my body needed that protein. Suzanne had to factor in risk versus reward with the wasps. They will attack if they feel their nest is being threatened. Some victims who are allergic to the venom can go into anaphylactic shock. Well, I just had to like, you know, suck it up and go for it. Got to get the larvae. I absolutely need this protein. Oh, ow, 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 ow. And the nest is down. There's one right there. Dare I reach in? Oh. oh. A handful of wasp larvae can provide Suzanne 200 calories of sorely needed protein. I ate them raw, and they taste really good. It's uh, like a soft vanilla with like a hint of some kind of little spice at the end. Mmm. Ant colony. It's huge, the biggest one I've seen. Deep in the jungles of Trinidad, Tim and Shannon quickly discovered that their fiercest enemies were everywhere. Colonies of biting, stinging army ants can number up to 15 million strong. They're all the way up there. Or there it is. They attack their victims as one ruthless force. We're going to get destroyed. They bite using razor-sharp, claw-like mandibles. And they're able to strip a fallen animal to its bones. 
they inflict agonizing bites that leave behind formic acid, which cause itching and swelling all over Shannon and Tim's bodies. The misery during the day escalated as more nocturnal creatures went on the attack. Bugs suck. And I seem to be getting a bit of a lot worse than my partner is. I got these welts all over our bodies. Feels like it's chiggers or um, mites. mites, something like that. Mites are minuscule arachnids. At only 0.3 millimeters, they're almost invisible to the naked eye. Sharp claws tear holes in the skin. And their fierce bite injects digestive enzymes that liquefy the cells, which they consume. They are literally eating their hosts. There's like crawling on me like crazy. Bugs started attacking Shannon. I'm just really hoping the sun's coming up soon because this is miserable. I just broken this uh, termite nest open. Basically, this right here is a natural insect spray. Tyler thought that he could fight fire with fire, using one pest to repel another. Jeez. So you just grind them up, rub them all over you. I got termites if you want to come rub these on your body. It seems like it works a little bit. Rubbing termites on their bodies didn't keep the mosquitoes from attacking AK and Tyler. A survivalist metabolism can make a repellent ineffective, and mosquitoes are resilient. They can adapt to efforts to stop them. They're sicker than they were in the worst part of last night. The unending attacks from the fierce, blood-sucking creatures eventually pushed AK and Tyler to tap out. Screw the Amazon.